tries Buari to release Namdekano. Oaneze replies Malami. The Oaneze Ndigbo Social Cultural Organization on Monday urged the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of the Federation, AJF Abubakar Malami, to advise President Muhammad Buari to release Mazi Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. May God Almighty prosper you all. Amen. Organize Ndigbo don't come tell Malami to advise his principal president, Muhammad Buhari, to release Mazen Namdekano. And Nigerians who have reacted to this. <laughs> They tell Omane Zendigbo, say, so Una no understand, say, Malami, Malami himself, na the president. So make them just tell Malami, say, release Mazen Namdekano. Because as it is, Malami is the one holding the IPOB leader. Record that Mazen Namdekano was discharged and acquitted on the 13th of October 2022 by the apical judgment in abuja 24 hours 24 hours after the court judgment boom malami said inam the kano cannot be free that kano was discharged but not acquitted the, the, these these people just turn nigerian constitution upside down Anyway, guys, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. Thank you once again. The Organizing Digbo Social Cultural Organization on Monday urged the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of the Federation, AJF Abubakar Malami, to advise President Muhammad Buhari to release Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Organism made the call in response to Malami's remark that the federal government has not received any requests for Kano's release. Speaking with Daily Post, the Secretary General of Organize, Okechiku Isuguru, lamented that Malami has advised the president wrongly on the release of Kano. Record that Governor Charles Soludo of Anambra State had urged the federal government to release Namde Kano to him. Soludo had vowed to stand as Shoti to ensure Kano's release. The IPOB leader has been detained by the Department of State Services, DSS, on the order of the federal government since June 2021. Despite the court ruling ordering his release, the Nigerian government has refused to set him free. Malami had said the federal government was yet to receive a formal request for Kano's release. However, Isio Guzoro said Organese and some other statesmen of the Southeast had met Buari and requested Kano's release. According to him, Organese has put a formal request, a formal request and paid a visit to the president which the Minister of Justice was present when the late Mbazurike Amechi Ezife Bishop Onoha paid a visit to Buhari and requested that the best thing he can do for Undibo was to release Nandekanu to them. We want to tell Malami that the federal government, through his department, should stop playing this outreach and come out boldly to tell us that they are not ready, which they have shown in action, but not in ways. The body language of Mr. President has shown that they are not ready to release Nam De Kano, having not obeyed the court order that granted his release. Malami should rightly advise the President to release Kano. The body language of Malami has shown they have wrongly advised Mr. President not to release Nam De Kano based on reasons known to them, such a situation of not obeying court order is aimed at instigating insecurity in the Southeast, they said. 
<laughs> the truth is that the federal government of Nigeria knows what they are doing. I always say this thing. The game they are playing, they know what they are doing. And all these things is just to come after Ndibo. Yes, this is no, no longer the issue of Mazen Namdekano alone. Because the more they are holding Mazen Namdekano, that is the, the same way they are holding Ndibo in captivity. They understand what is going on in Ibo land. They, they know what has been happening since Mazen Namdekano was arrested. Or can I say kidnapped? Because Kano was kidnapped in Kenya. You know that what he did was wrong. Extraordinary rendition is a serious crime. Even before international communities, you know that. But he committed a crime because you are desperate. You want to bring back Mazen Namdekano to Nigeria. Why you have terrorists in your backyard who are terrorizing this country? You cannot even arrest them. We've not heard any story or any 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 news that the federal government or the Nigerian police arrested Fulani Hesmen or all these bandits and whatsoever. This is really sad to say that you going after agitators, killing them and prisoning them, white bandits and Boko Haram who are killing Nigerians, who have displaced millions of Nigerians from their ancestral home. You give these people freedom every now and then. And you say they are not a threat to Nigeria. God Almighty is seeing what is going on in Nigeria. You see what these people are doing because they have turned Nigeria upside down. May God have mercy on us. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts.